Welcome for another mathematics lesson. Remember to subscribe to this channel and to also share the link. We are told that the figure below shows two fully belts with centers A and B and D 7 cm and 2.8 cm respectively. P, Q, R and S are points of contact between the pulleys and the belt, which is wound round the two pulleys as shown. So we have two pulleys and a belt which has been wound around the two around the two pulley belts. Then we got the points of contact P, Q, R, and S. So we're going to apply the concepts of circle codes and tangents because these are external tangents to the two pulleys which are acting as circles. So the pulley, the pulleys are acting as circles while the belt which has been wound round is acting as the external tangent because the pulley is just touched by the belt at points P, Q, R and S. So now we are given that uh, the length AB is 50 centimeters. Then we are also given the anchor PAB as shown. PAB, PAB, this anchor is 85.18. Calculate to two decimal places the length of PQ. The length of PQ. So what we do is that in the construction of the external tangents to a circle, we should know that the radius of this circle is usually equal to the length from here up to here. Therefore, in case we take the radius of this circle and we measure that length from here to here such that we have 2.8 at this point, then we will be able to connect that point. Let me call my point here M because I'm just introducing a new point. I call it M and I join M to B, M to point B. Then it means I have obtained a line which is parallel to line PQ. Apart from being parallel, they are also equal because the radius here and the radius here are again parallel. So it means from A, okay, from B to M is equal from P to Q. Therefore, now we can say that uh, because this line is perpendicular to the radius here, and we know the whole radius of PA is 7, and we know that we have extracted 2.8, then we can know the remaining distance at this corner. So the remaining distance from M to A is going to be 7, we subtract 2.8. So that we know that distance is 4.2. So we have a distance of 4.2. We have a right angle and we have an angle here of 85.18. Which means for us to obtain length MB, which is just equal to PQ, we can either use trigonometry or we use Pythagoras theorem because AB is also provided. So AB can act as an hypotenuse. Then we have this length of 4.2 so that we may get the other unknown length. And for this matter, we will say 50 squared minus 4.2 squared. When we obtain the square root, this will give us the length MB, which at the same time is equal to PQ. So we will have calculated PQ. So let's get 50 squared and we obtain the square root. This gives us 49.82. 49.82 according to the accuracy we've been taught to operate with of two decimal places. 
these are centimeters. So that is the length of PQ. It is very important to know that PQ is equal to SR on the other side. So we have 49.82 to this end and 49.82 on the other side. These are centimeters. So we proceed with the question. The length of the major arc PS, the major arc from P to S, that is the what we call the major arc, the arc being bound by radius and the bigger angle. So now that we have 85.18 and this other angle is also equal to 85.18, then we can calculate the outer angle on this other side by taking 360 and we subtract 2 multiplied by 85.18. So this is going to give us 189.64. So the angle is going to be 189.64. Now, the length of an arc is given by theta divided by 360 to pi r which means we will have 189.64 out of 360 multiplied by 2 multiplied by a radius of 7 yeah a radius of 7 2 radius then the pi we can prefer 22 out of 7 as the pi in this case so we're going to get going to get 162.25 in two decimal places. These are also centimeters. So we got the length of that major arc. Let's look at the next question. The same question. The length of the minor arc. The length of the minor arc, QR. Minor arc, QR. Let's look at QR. QR. For QR, we want the minor arc, this arc made by the smaller angle, not the major arc now, the minor arc, or rather the outer arc, QR. So the outer arc, we should know, now that this radius and this radius are parallel, then it means the angle made here, the angle made there of 85.18 times 2, is just equal to the same same angle on the other side because they are parallel so this angle the whole of it which is 170.36 degrees so that angle of 170.36 degrees is just transferred exactly the way it is to this other side and we have radius as 2.8 so we can apply the formula again for the length of an arc as theta out of 360 so we will apply theta 170.36 out of 360 to a pi of 22 out of 7 and a radius of 2.8 centimeters. So this one will mean this one will give us a let me multiply the length well. We have 170.36 multiplied by 2, multiplied by 22, multiplied by 2.8. Then we divide this by 360 and 7. So this will give us a length of 8.328. Now that we have 328 and we want it in two decimal places, then we shall have we shall have 8.33 centimeters. Then finally, the total length of the belt. Total length of the belt. Let me just confirm the length of the major arc on the other side, whereby we had 189. 0.64 multiplied by 2 times 7 times 22. Then we divide by 360 multiplied by 7. 
this is a length of 23.18 so there was an error here in the computation it should be 23.18 instead of 178 to two decimal places centimeters therefore now it means we can add all the lengths now to get the total length of the belt because we have this length and we also have the other length then we have this major this minor arc and this major arc so we can get the length of all the belt so we will start by adding 49.82 plus 23.18 plus so that is after 49.82 then 23.18 plus again 49.82 49.82 and finally plus the minor arc here which we have already calculated as 8.33 so when we add all those lengths we are getting 131.15 131.15 0.15. Make sure you substitute it in your calculation.